Hello, I'm Kevin Wartman, the Director of Undergraduate Studies in the Department of Mathematics at the University of Utah. Welcome to Math Enrollment Video A. In this video, I'm going to show you five problems and have you work on them. Uh, I'll present each problem one at a time and have you pause, work on them on, with pen and paper, but without using a calculator or a computer or a phone, uh, without getting help from someone else, and without looking in a book or notes. Um, and I ask you to do the problems that way because the problems that we're going to look at, that's how your math instructor in certain courses is going to be expect is going to expect you to be able to do these problems. Um, so I think it, it's good that we that we do them in that way. Um, once we finish looking over these problems, oh, you'll work on the problems. You'll unpause the video. I'll come and explain an answer to you. And after we finish going through all these problems, then we'll briefly talk about what that means about which course might be a good one for you to enroll in. So let's go ahead and start with the problems. Uh, here's our first problem. Solve for x if you're given the equation 1 third x plus 2 equals 1 half x. Go ahead, press pause, take a few moments, work this out, and when you're all done, uh, come back and we'll talk about it together. Welcome back. Uh, here's a solution. You can add, you can subtract one third x. Uh, so you have two equals one half x minus one third x. Uh, the one half and one third don't mix so well unless you change them into six sixes. That is, uh, one half is three sixes, uh, one third is two sixes, and now you can subtract those. You'll have two equals one sixth x, and you can multiply by six, and you'll have that x equals twelve. So that's our first problem. Let's go ahead and look at a second problem. Solve for x if x minus 26 is greater than 5x minus 10. Press pause here and take a moment to do that. Welcome back. We can subtract x and then add 10 and then divide by four minus four is greater than x. That's a perfectly good solution. Some of you may have written it as x is less than negative four, and that is also correct. Those are the same thing. So if you have either of those last two lines, uh, that's the solution that we were looking for. Let's move to problem number three. Suppose you're given that f of x equals two x squared minus five x plus one. Find f of minus three. Press pause here and I'll see you again in a moment. Welcome back. To do this problem, uh, I've written that equation from the top down at the bottom now. Uh, to do this, to find out what f of minus three is, just wherever you see an x, put a minus three. So f of minus three is two to the two times the square of minus three, minus five times negative three plus one. Minus three squared is nine. Negative five times negative three is 15. So 15 plus one is 16. Two times nine is 18. And 18 plus 16 is 34. That is the answer. F of negative three is 34. Let's move to the next problem. Suppose y equals mx plus b. Solve for b if you know that m equals minus two, x is five, and y is minus one. Uh, pause the video here. I'll see you back in a moment. Welcome back. Y equals MX plus B, but we know that M is minus two. We know that X is five and we know that Y is minus one. Making those substitutions, we have minus one is negative two times five plus B. Well, negative two times five is negative 10. And we can add 10 and we'll have that nine equals B. That's what we were looking for, B is nine. Now our last problem, simplify the polynomial at the top of the screen. I won't read that out loud. That's harder to say than it is to write. Uh, so go ahead and simplify that polynomial. Uh, you'll use the distributive law, multiply things out. You'll regroup things. So group together all the cubics, the quadratics, the linear terms, the constant terms, and write your answer where the terms are in order of decreasing degrees. Press pause here and come back in a moment. Welcome back. Uh, I've written just the polynomial at the top of the screen down lower. 
uh, let's go ahead and simplify this. And actually the first step to simplifying is kind of expanding it a bit. Let's go ahead uh, sort of term by term and see what we have. Uh, well, there's the cubic term X cubed. So we'll just write that down. The next thing I see is minus four times the difference of X squared and two X. And I can multiply that out and I'll see that as minus four X squared plus eight X. The next thing I see is a plus three. I'll just write that down. The next term is a two times the difference of X squared and one. I wanna get rid of the parentheses. So use the distributive law, multiply by two. You'll have two X squared minus two. That is, those two things are equal. We're not done simplifying yet, although that was a really good start. What we wanna do is we wanna sort of group terms of the same degree. So you see minus four X squared and two X squared, those are quadratics, those have degree two. So we'll combine them minus four plus two is minus two. So we have minus two X squared. The constants we have three and minus two make plus one altogether. X cubed and eight X, we just leave those. And that's our final answer. That is simplified in order of decreasing terms, x cubed minus 2x squared plus 8x plus 1. So those are the problems. If you felt comfortable with those, if everything went well in this video A, if you get a green check mark for those five questions, if you, if you could figure out the answer uh, in a good amount of time, we recommend that Math 1030, Math 1010, or Math 1040 would be good options for you. Now there might be other good options. You might uh, look at enrolling in sort of the pre-calculus level or a calculus level course. The future videos, videos A or videos B, C, and D will help you determine that. But just for starters, you could enroll in one of the three courses shown on your screen now, and those would be, and and you'd certainly be prepared for those. Um, if this, if the problems that we looked at didn't go so great, if you had trouble coming up with correct solutions, if the math in this video was uncomfortable for you, then we recommend that you enroll in Math 980. If you enroll in Math 980, you're gonna learn the math techniques that you need to be successful in courses like Math 1030, 1010, and 1040. If the video did go well for you, if you, if you felt like you had uh, good answers to all those problems, then let's move on to video B uh, and I'll see you there.